300 kilogram bar B originally uh, at rest so it is at rest like initial velocity is 0 and it is stored over a series of small uh, small rollers the motor M is drawing in the cable so this is the motor so it is pulling in the cable at a rate uh, velocity is 0.4 t square meters per second so where t is in seconds you have to find out the force in the cable and the distance so you have to find out this tension force in the cable which comes here and then second thing I would say just write down T rather than F and the distance it covers how much distance it covers in that time duration which is five seconds so the distance formula you can apply here but I would like to explain something more that let's start from this distance rather than finding the force first I would like to start from the distance so you know the V equals to ds over dt agree so ds in order to find the distance you need to do the integration so from 0 to suppose s and from 0 to 5 seconds so velocity expression is given so if I do the integration of 0.4 t square what should be the integration of 0.4 t square thank you so it is 5 and 0 delta s on the left hand side we have to find out delta s means the final minus initial uh, position which is s minus s0 which is so if you do the math what do you guys get from uh, this equation so 0 0.4 over 3 you should be able to get this answer you can verify in your calculator so this is the answer for the second part of the question but let's find out the f uh, f tensile force or tension in the in the cord so I would like to draw the free body diagram and if you if you have to zoom out a little bit here well let me uh, pick this again and bring it over here to show you what I'm how would I draw the free body diagram because a free body diagram is an important part so this is my uh, force in the cable and this is my weight downward and the reaction normal reaction upward do we have a friction since these are rollers so we will assume friction is negligible these are the rollers no contact so I would I would just use this one to find out the equation of motion so let's plug in all the, let's assume it is a good practice to assume the uh, a reference axis x axis along the cord on the path so y axis is this way so all the forces in the x direction they are equal to mass times acceleration and there is just one force in the x direction which is tension t cord uh, in the cord equals to mass times acceleration and acceleration is not given directly but if you take a look if you take a look velocity expression is given how can you find out the acceleration if the expression velocity is given so you can find out by taking the time derivative of velocity expression correct and the velocity expression is 0.4 t squared 0.4 t squared you have to take the time, time derivative so it is 0 0.8 t Th this is the time derivative let's plug in at 5 seconds since this is asking you take the picture at 5 seconds so if I take the snapshot at 5 seconds so a time t equals 5 seconds that would be equal to uh, 0 0.8 times 5 4 meters square and now you plug it in over here in equation 1 and the mass of this slab is 300 kilograms 
So tension equals to 300 kilograms times 4, which is 1,200 newtons. So this is your answer.